In this video, we're going to look at the importance of consistency and congruence in native advertising. And consistency is important across uh, many aspects of human life. I mean, for example, no one trusts friends who say one thing and do another. It feels untrustworthy. It feels like they might do something harmful to you. And so our brains are wired to pick up that. I mean, check this image out here. Can you spot the odd one? I mean, even before I asked that question, your eyes were probably drawn to that huge guy with the tattoos and the flowers. He looks very different from all of the other guys on the image. We are wired to find things which are out of place. They make us feel odd. They bring us out of our, out of our patterns, our autopilot, and make us pay attention to the world. And this is an um, evolutionary thing, because those out of the ordinary experiences, those things that we're not expecting are likely to be the things that might kill us. So our brains have been wired as we've evolved to pick up things which are odd or out of place. So in native advertising, it's no different. There are three key ways to create good native advertising and enhance cognitive ease. Now, cognitive ease is that feeling of acceptance, that feeling that you can uh, look at something and it just sort of feels right it just fits together and that's what we want because if a viewer comes to our native ads and they see uh, they look out of place then their spidey senses are going to tingle they're going to feel as if someone's just trying to flog them something or if the information's not accurate or it's it's not good or it's um, fake poor quality information so there are three ways that we can enhance this cognitive ease Let's look at them now. So number one is the ad headline is congruent and consistent with the article headline and the article content. So here's an example that I pulled from inside Native Ad Buzz, um, which is, uh, this is a live native ad that uh, was running on a couple of the, the networks. And as you can see, it says, the title is, all you'll see is dollar signs. Here's how gift certificates will rake in holiday revenue. And you can notice that the uh, headline on the ad on the left-hand side is the same as the headline on the um, actual content page on the right-hand side. And if you read the actual content, you'll notice that it's consistent. It's about gift certificates and the benefit is explained in the headline. So this is an example of a consistent headline and text. Number two, the ad image is consistent with the article image and article text. So if we look at the same example again, you can see that the article image, the, the gift, is the same as the image on the actual article. And also um, it's a gift and the article is about gift certificates in the holiday season. So you can see the consistency and the congruence there. And number three, content is consistent with the referring page's content type. Now what I mean by this is that the page on which the advert appears is similar to the advertiser's content page. Now this can be a bit challenging with content discovery because we don't have many targeting options. You can't say which, uh, which um, domains or which um, publishers' pages your article is going to appear on generally. And so uh, you have to be a bit more generic. But as a basic principle, the content page that you use as your landing page should provide value. It shouldn't be a straight sales vlog. It should be an article of some type because the majority of um, publisher pages that these ads appear on are article pages. They are pages uh, on newspaper websites or magazine websites. So let's talk about this idea of consistency now and what does it mean. And uh, I'd like you to have a look at this, this question. It's a biblical question. How many of each species did Moses take on the ark? And what's your answer? Was it two? Obviously, right? And that's the answer that I gave the first time as well. But some of you may have guessed that that is actually wrong. Because it was Noah and not Moses who went on the ark. And the reason I'm showing this question is because it's about consistency. The names Noah and Moses are obviously different, but they're from the same category. They're from the category of biblical names or religious names. 
And because of that, it creates a cognitive ease in our brain. So it's very easy for us to accept the name Moses in the question. And it, that, that goes for native advertising as well. Your headers, headlines and your images, they don't have to be exactly the same, but they should be of the same category in the context of the article. Um, and that gives you a lot more flexibility because you may want to have a different image on your adverts or several different adverts pointing to the same lander. Um, and that means you could use uh, different headlines but of the same category. Have a look at this image again as well. You can see this is the image that I showed you at the beginning and clearly the one that's un unconsistent is the guy with the roses and the, um, the tattoos because he's inconsistent. But perhaps you should have been paying attention to this guy. This guy is carrying a shotgun. <laughs> but because he looks consistent, because he's of the category smaller white guy carrying flowers, that little difference is hard to notice. Whereas the guy who's in a completely different category, the large black guy with the flowers, it's easier to notice him and notice the difference in the context of this picture. So to define that, consistent means of the same category for the particular context. And have a, have a look at a, an example of a native ad. In the example of this, these images, you can see that the image on the left is clearly very different to the image on the right, but they could be of the same category um, in the context of exercise or weight loss. And in fact, the image on the left is uh, a, probably a good image to use because at first glance, it's difficult to know exactly what it is. And then you might read a headline title like five exercises they never told you about to lose weight. And then you go to the article and you see, you see this image at the top of the article. And this would be an example of consistent. So to recap from this lecture, it's very important to be congruent and consistent in your uh, ad images and article images and content, your ad headlines, uh, article headlines and the content, and also in the type and the feel of the article, it should be a... Um, article and not a long form landing page or sales page um, and but consistent doesn't mean exactly the same it just means of the same category and what we're looking for is cognitive ease which means that when people click on your advert and they go to your landing page they do so willingly and they don't feel uncomfortable because it looks like it fits it looks like it should be there and that's it for this video See you in the next one.